The estimates uh, show cloud computing revenues for AWS increasing by 15% year over year. Is that good enough after the big jumps that we saw from Alphabet and Microsoft? Yeah, Amazon has a tough, they're in a tough situation because the speed of growth, Google getting close to 30%, uh, Microsoft in the mid 20s, Amazon has slowed down in terms of its growth compared to its uh, competitors, but having been the largest for the longest time, you're still talking about law of large numbers and what that means for Amazon. Look, everybody's going to want more growth and they're going to want it faster. And AWS has to continue to show that it can compete with its, its rivals. But I don't think it's just about how fast cloud is growing, Frank. I think it's about how much they can compel the market that their AI technologies, solutions, and capabilities are competitive with Google and Microsoft, which seem to have a bit more of that provenance going into this AI wave. You know, Google has been developing it, developing it for multiple decades. Microsoft did the partnership with OpenAI, you know, and then Amazon came a little bit later with its bedrock, then its anthropic partnerships. So people are going to be looking at those two levers. Of course, are they growing quickly enough and are they compelling right. enough on their AI story? You know, Daniel, you're hitting on a number of, of key facts and, and issues here when it not issues, but uh, things that we need to be looking for when it comes to Amazon. Um, the numbers are one thing. How important is the commentary? Uh, Amazon continuing to spell out its narrative when it comes to artificial intelligence. Yeah, well, you heard it from Kate. I mean, there's this really delicate balance. They have to walk between Meta and Mark Zuckerberg overspending on its reality labs and the commitment it's making to AI and how much it's spending on GPUs and other technology. And then, of course, Google was almost perfect, just a billion dollars in, in, in additional CapEx as their cloud business was growing extremely quickly. I think AWS has to okay. be spending quickly enough. It's investing in its own technology. It's been building its own chips, its own network transport. It's not as dependent on NVIDIA as some of the other cloud providers. Uh, but having said okay. that, you know, we want to know that they are making the big investments, that they are planning to keep their leadership as the world's largest infrastructure provider for a public cloud service. And so the amount of spend is going to be in this perfect little balanced space that says we're spending enough <laughs> to compete and to maintain our right. leadership, but we're not going to So, so you're you know, saying we're this is a overspend. stock that can move on that commentary, similar to what we saw in Meta. This is a stock that can move on that commentary. It sounds like what you're saying. Just want to encapsulate, yeah. Daniel, because I want to get your take on one last thing, the ad market when it comes to Amazon. So we've gotten reports from some of the other big tech companies and looking at uh, Meta. They missed estimates, but advertising revenue soared 27 percent year over year. Uh, Snap, it jumped by 16 percent year over year. Alphabet, uh, when it came to YouTube, fastest growth since 2011. What are you expecting when it comes to Amazon? Pretty lofty expectations for year over year growth, more than 20 percent year over year growth when it comes to that ad business. Yeah, the ad business is kind of one of their well-kept secrets, but it's almost a $60 billion run right now. I expect it to continue growing really quickly. And I think if Amazon is smart, they'll keep just delivering on advertising. They're under enough pressure with AWS, with their overall e-commerce business. Advertising has been uh, you know, a really successful growth area that hasn't gotten too much attention. That, of course, seems to be changing. I expect it to continue to grow. And it's interesting because the economy is not really red hot. There's a lot of data that shows that we are in this kind of maybe even stagflation situation. Having said that, though, the advertising business is growing, it seems, across the industry right okay. now with numbers looking good across the board.